What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'll be showing you step-by-step -step on how to create a sketch illustration of SpongeBob SquarePants. For today's lesson, you'll need a pencil, an eraser, and something to draw on. I'll be sketching with this 0.9 millimeter mechanical pencil, but you can use whatever you'd like. I'm gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. Let's start from the very top. We're just gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom in the center. And this will help us balance out our drawing. Now we're gonna go all the way up towards the top from that center line. We draw a circle going out towards the left. I'm drawing in the left eye, going all the way around, and then back in. Now you don't wanna to go too dark. I wanna block this out first. Now I wanna draw that same size circle over on the right side. We're just gonna overlap the inside edge. So let's start in the middle, come around, and come down towards the same height, and also along the top. So that these circles are overlapping. Now I want to add a guideline going across the center of the eyes from left to right. Now I'm going to leave a gap in the center and draw two small circles for the pupils. Let's start along that center line, going up and around, and then back in. Now I'm going to take that same distance from that line over towards the right. We'll do the same thing. Let's sketch a smaller circle in the center of the iris for the pupils. Now, in between the eyes along the bottom, I'm just going to curve the mouth. I'm going to come down and then out towards the right to right about there. Draw a straight line going across towards the left. Now, I just want to bend this up just underneath the eye. Let's add a small bracket on the end. Now, I'm going to step out and curve the cheek. I'm going to go all the way around, almost like an oval, on top of the eye. Come around and then back out. Now, from the left side, we're going to draw a straight line coming down the side of the mouth to right about there. From the tip of the mouth, let's step in, draw another straight line coming down towards the same height. And then we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Let's place the tongue along the bottom. We're going to start from the bottom corner. We want to start by curving this up and then down to create a fold. Step back, curve across, and then back down. Now we're gonna add two teeth along the top. Let's start with that center line coming down, across towards the left, and then back up to create a square. Let's leave a gap and draw that same size square on the right. Now from here, we're gonna place the nose on top of the mouth and the eye. So we're gonna start right here from that center line, go across the bottom of the right eye, and then go up, round out the nose. Now I just wanna taper this so it gets narrower as you come back in on top of the lip. Let's add those three lashes across the eye. We're going to start right in the middle with a short line going up above each eye. Now we're going to draw two more on either side, just angling these up and then out. Now that we've blocked out the face, let's move up and draw the top edge of the head. We're going to start on the left side. We're going to draw a straight line going across above the eyes and out towards the right. Now on the top right, we're just going to come straight down. Now I want to give this a slight bend, coming down and then in towards the bottom. Let's go to the top left. I'm just going to bend this in, come down, all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Now just underneath the mouth, we're going to step down and add a curve for the lower lip. Step down, draw a straight line going all the way across from left to right. Let's extend this line going out on the left side. Now going back up to the top left side of the head, angle the back coming down. So you're just going to see the side edge of the body. And I just want to taper this so it gets narrower, coming back in towards that bottom line, and then pull that straight down. Now from this line, we're going to step down, draw another straight line going across the edge of the pants. Over on the left side, we're just going to angle this up and then out. Now you want to take that same distance down towards the bottom, draw another straight line going across, and then angle this up towards the left. Let's go back and add some detail to the body. We're gonna start with the tie underneath the center line, angle this down and in, flatten off the bottom. Now from the bottom corners, angle this down and out on top of the pant, come back down and in towards the center. Let's go back up to the top of the knot, angle the collar coming down and out, go back up and out underneath the head. Now I want to place the legs in underneath the body. So from this point, we're going to step out, go 
and down, round up a leg, and just pull that up on the inside. Let's go to that center line, do the same thing. Coming down, across, and then back up. Now from the center of the leg, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the ankles. Coming down towards the same height. Now from here, step down, draw a straight line going across the bottom of the feet. Now from the bottom of the ankle, we're gonna curve the foot. We're gonna go up and then bend that down towards the right. Do the same thing on the right leg. Now we wanna add some thickness to the legs. We're gonna draw two lines on either side of that center line. And then the line on the left, we come all the way down towards the bottom. Now we also wanna round out the heel, starting from the back of the foot, come around and then down. Let's add a small highlight oval along the top curve of each foot. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're gonna start with the left sleeve, starting in between this line and this point. We're gonna go up, round out the shoulder and come down towards the same height and just round out the bottom of the sleeve. Now I'm gonna follow this line on either side, on the left and right, coming down towards the wrist. I'm just gonna block out the hand with an oval. Now over on the right side, we're gonna raise up the hand. So we're gonna start with two straight lines going out, across the top and bottom of the sleeve, round out the end. In the center, draw a straight line going out towards the elbow, and it was up towards the hand. Now again, we're gonna draw that same size oval just to get the size of the hand. Now before we get into too much detail, we're gonna go back and clean up our drawing by erasing some of these guidelines. I'm also gonna lighten up the area around the head so we can sketch those wiggles on top. Now we're gonna go back over our rough sketch and add some contrast and modify the shape. Let's start with the eye on the left. It's gonna darken up the outside. And I'm just using these short lines. I'm not trying to create this circle with one continuous line. We always go back and just modify the shape. And then the overlapping parts, the cheek will go on top. Let's add those freckles on top of the cheek. And then that bracket. You can see that I'm just placing in the overlapping parts first and then layering in behind. Now by using this method, you'll get much better results with your proportions and composition. Darken up the center of the pupils. I'm just gonna add some thickness to the lashes. I'm just flattening off the tips. And we're gonna come back in one more time after just to clean up our drawing with our eraser. Now starting from the top left side of the head, we're gonna add this wave, just coming around and up. And just bending this line, and using that underlying sketch as a guide. Just going back and just darkening that up. Let's work our way around the top side. And then coming down towards the shoulder. Now with this, I can try to use one continuous line to get that smooth edge. And then again, just going back and just placing in the overlapping parts. So with the shoulder on top of the body. And I'm just gonna add a wave coming down the side edge, that seam, and then adding a slight wave across the bottom. Now we're gonna go back and just add those ovals and spots across the head. So we'll start from the side. I'm just gonna lightly block this in because we'll come back later and just shade those in after.
Now with this sleeve, we want to tuck the arm inside. So let's add a curve. And just tuck the top of the arm inside, going up towards the wrist. And we'll just wrap that sleeve in behind. Now we're just going to add that detail working with that volume that we created with that oval. Start with the thumb, just curling that around. Go back to the wrist, start layering in the fingers. And we'll just straighten out the index finger, coming back in. It's going to add a slight bend to the bottom of the foot. And go across the top. A small heel along the bottom. Now we're going to go back and just add the belt just underneath the pant line. Just shade those in. And we're going to just repeat that across the middle. We'll go underneath the tie. Go back and just clean up the drawing one final time. I'm just going to go and lightly shade in the pants. Going a little bit darker on the left side across that panel. And then a very light shade across this front. Go back and just darken up the inside of the mouth, going around the teeth and the tongue. I just want to add a light shadow on the left side of the body. And once we're done shading this in, the last thing we need to do is sign our artwork, and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of SpongeBob SquarePants. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you enjoyed today's lesson, then smash that like button and leave your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.